Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Pathfinder Keymaker Enhanced Edition with me, Bring It Dawn. So we head down to the basement, which is also where we have to go. So I really hope I get a chance to talk to the uh, storyteller before for the uh, the end, because I would like to get that last artifact that I forgot to talk to him about. All right, welcome to the basement, everybody. Let's go ahead and just pre-haste. Uh, do I have any more of the extended hastes? I'm there. All right, let's go this way. So as with the first floor, there are. I think this is locked, right? Yeah. Two dimensions here. That doesn't really change. I'm pretty sure in the other dimension there's just a bunch of enemies. That might be a secret door. I do what I must. Interesting. Let's roll on a three. Come on, you can do this. Come on, Ledger Domain. There we go. Linarm Hide. An armor made of thick skin of a serpent like monster. This plus five hide armor grants us wear immunity to fire and a plus four bonus to saving throws against transmutation school spells. It's okay. Forever at in the game, there are better. Unless there's an enemy that uses transmutation school spells heavily, which I don't think is the case. But I could be wrong. Need a key to get in there. Okay. Thought there was. I'm there. Right, actually, let's get on this side. Turn around, turn off our we should move. thing. Quick save before we do so. Before things go sideways. Weapons, spells, poisons. The art of killing is so diverse these days. A shame one life is not enough to master them all. Alright, we don't have our death ward up anymore. So I'll have to use Holy R real quick. Everybody hold your spots. Quiet, I'm thinking. I have him use Holy Bomb. The forest makes care for everyone. Today it shelters and cares. Let's finish him quick. <laughs> I don't know what spell that was. Wait, why are we not having... We're about to lay poison communal goats on some of us. Alright, well that's not good. There we go. Still don't know where my delay poison communal went. Keep your eyes open. I am ready. Command me. Some of us have it. Well, she died. That's why she doesn't. Have it. Okay, I guess you that's why. You count on me. Depend on me. Well, that's annoying. Okay, let's the see here. Near. He needs frightful aspect. Anymore, 
you require my assistance? Venemosi Travisi! Lizono Danium! In due time. Follow if you dare. Oh, the early witch. Even groveling, the terrifying creature towers over you. Its dark claws glisten like metal, but the pose doesn't seem threatening. It's more reminiscent of a ruffled bird than a wild animal ready to pounce. So does you, my little guest. The crone probably frightened you there, near the Castle of Knives. I didn't mean to. It's all because of the wriggling man, darn him. He keeps sending disruptors and thieves to me. I turn around and they're standing behind me. I stand up from my bench and they climb under it. Forgive an old crone her suspicious nature. My life isn't easy. It isn't. By the way, in case you don't know yet, they call me the Nerly Witch. I know you fooled my servants to take the fragment of the first crown. Foolish timber. But then again, if I wanted smart servants, I wouldn't have chosen walking logs. You don't look like a dweller of the first world. Who are you? The witch shakes her huge head. A lonely old hag. For hundreds of years, I lived with my two sisters in the place you call the Stolen Lands. We guarded a magical forest, sheltered treants, shambling mounds, ogres, and other wondrous creatures. They praised my sisters and me, calling us the Triune Queen. It was a fine life, but then our forest fell under the Lady Nerissa's gaze, and she reduced it to dust, and made me her servant upon pain of death. I couldn't even think of resisting her. Creatures like you are called Anna's Hags, and when you and your sisters gather into a coven, it doesn't bode well for anyone in the area, right? The witch flashes a cunning smile. Did I tell you we were kind to others? No, no. We lived by our laws, in peace and harmony with each other. And strangers just had to learn to keep away from our forest. Well, you must not be very happy with your service to Nerissa. I obey the one who is stronger. If I were five ages younger, I could try to rebel. But it's too late for me now. Poor old witch makes potions as she's told. Looks after the house. Takes jokes from the pile of worms. And is good for nothing else. An amusing story. Let me ask you something else. Ask away. I like talking to guests. I want to ask about your feud with the wriggling man and the first crown. Ask away. Old Rot likes me enjoying... Old Rot like me enjoys talking to someone young and curious. Why do you need the first crown? Ah, if you lived as long as I have in the first world, the face see outsiders as curious animals. Even if you can break their neck in one swoop, Nerissa get gave me the crown as a mark of distinction. The Fae saw that their queen valued me, and now they show me respect. But if they decide that I've lost Nerissa's favor, they'll laugh at me, and make evil jokes as they do. That wriggling Ophel knew this, that's why he's always wanted to take the crown. And why are you enemies with the wriggling man? You saw for yourself. He envies me, harms me, wants to drive me out, make me lose Nerissa's favor. What else would you expect from a walking pile of corpse worms? And what kind of creature is he? Ah, ugly creature. Believe me, he, be he appears as disgusting to a creature like me as he does to creatures like you. Sometimes a soul doesn't want to leave the world after death. It clings to its rotten body and finally lets corpse worms consume it piece by piece. Yes, yes, the soul divides into a thousand fragments, each living inside a worm. Alright, how do I find Arissa? Tell me, and I won't attack you. Ah, little guest, you want the old witch to betray her queen? You have no idea what threats she uses to make me serve her. It has been many ages, and I've never dared to raise my head. The witch ruffles her coarse hair with her huge clawed palm and mumbles. But a hag like me can't live here. Nerissa got new favorites and made me live in the dungeon. She hardly notices me. If I helped my little guest a little, it wouldn't be unfair, would it? The wriggling man wanted to kill me first. I will tell you. There's a special place on the top floor, Nerissa's shrine. It's the heart of the house. Her bitter treasure is stored there, which she can never let you have. The door to the shrine opens with three keys. One is stored with the Wriggling Man, one with me, and the third is hidden somewhere in the house. I say you kill the horrid Wriggling Wretch and take his key, then I'll give you mine after. And then we'll see. Whether you kill Nerissa or she kills you, you'll have helped me either way.
All right, it's it's a deal. Wonderful, wonderful. The Wrigley Elf was hiding somewhere on the top floor. Come back to me when you've killed him. The old witch will help you any way she can. Do you wish to ask me something else? Have to go, farewell. Come again, little guest. The hag enjoyed your visit. By the way, don't trust her. Uh, the Book of the New Beginning. The book's pages are empty, but upon opening it, you see that clear sunny day when you walk the pavements of your capital for the first time. You hear Keston showing the way, citizens greeting you politely. The air is filled with expectation and hope. Hundreds of people have come in search of a new home, a new fate, a future. And however vague and uncertain that future might be, at this moment, their hearts are filled with joy. You know, until everyone starts exploding into owlbears. I'm there! I do what I must. All right, so we can't open that yet. All right, so we do need to get to the top floor now. I'm gonna actually leave and go rest, so I get my spells and buffs back. And then we'll get to the top floor. So the top floor is pretty nasty. It's got one of those uh, mandragoras and it swarms up there, so that's something to not look forward to. Did I not equip these? I swear that I did. Hold on. What do you have? You have the mirror bow. Okay. Interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and buy one more set of rations, and then we'll rest here real quick. So I think it's safe to rest out here. Oh, rations. Where are you at? I swear that she had another book you could buy. Let's rest real quick. Get some of my spells back. Oh, no one's talking. I just rested. How am I still fatigued? My skills are absolute. What? I just rested. Well, that's upsetting. 
What manner of country is this? Where is the lavish dining, the festivals? Place barely Ona merits a footnote Adayana. in my compendium. Ona Adayana. Ona Adayana. Ona Adayana. I mimosi travisi. 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 Ona Adayana. Lisano Dania. Trashoni Savitur. Trashoni Savitur. Tashoni Savitur. Tashoni Savitur. Ona Adayana. Ona Adayana. Ona Adayana. Ona Adayana. Ona Adayana. Irimosi Travis. Open to your orders. Irimosi Travis. Inimosi Travisi. Ready and willing. Ba, Ea, Ritzi. Ada, Sua, Tea. Grotus awaits us. Ona, Adayana. Adritium Turinos. Tashani Savitur! Tashani Savitur! Tashani Savitur! Ona Adayana! Irimosi Travisi! Irimosi Travisi! Okay, we should be good to continue. I still don't know why we're fatigued even though I just rested. I'm not a big fan of, of that. A restoration will fix it, but I don't want to waste any of my restoration resources, especially with the Mandragora that I know is going to be up here somewhere. What's the hold up? All right, another quick save now that we've been hasted. Oh shoot, we don't have our. Uh... My skills are getting rusty. Stone skin up. That'll help. Oh, he's dispelling everything from Jubilos. That's annoying. Oh, you should not be using, uh... Frost on these guys. Alright, the Book of Bitterness. Let's read that. The pages books are or sorry, the book's pages are empty, but upon opening it you see an exhausted and mingled nymph, barely recognizable as Nerissa. She sits on a familiar pedestal. The one you saw during your travels through the first world, holding her knees with one arm and staring into the distance. Dim shadows hover around, the formidable silhouette of a jabberwock screams of her sister nymphs, falling under the monster's blows. The, bitter the bitterness of defeat, the burden of grief and sorrow, weigh down on your shoulders with endless despair, and pin you to the ground. We should move. Help. 
follow if you dare. Alright, so, uh oh, I think I know where we're at. Let's quick save. Also, I think one of the uh, mirrors is in this room. Maybe not in this dimension. A Jabberwock statue, silent but still frightening. There's something uncanny in the fact that Nerissa, having been defeated and nearly obliterated by this creature, placed a statue of it in the heart of her home. Uncanny indeed. Hey, look who we found. I see something. What's new? So I recommend. Here. Keep your eyes open. Splitting up your party oh, for this fight. Sorry. I Was thought you'd before. never ask. It's time Anxious. to act. I'm always ready. Cause it's not an easy fight. <sighs> All right. Hundreds of worms make up the body of this foulsome creature, swarming and wriggling restlessly. But the creature doesn't seem alarmed. It turns to you and nods. It seems a gesture of politeness only. The worms have no eyes, and their common body no true head. Only a simulacrum of the form that came before. Hello, guest, says the bodiless voice. What do you need from the wriggling man? What manner of creature are you? Ah, you seem surprised, guest. What disturbs you? Maybe it's our hair, or our accent? You hear laughter in the faint voice of the wriggling man, or a hundred voices sounding as one. We're a thousand reflections and a thousand shards of a mirror. We're once one creature, a man. Few memories are left from our past life, but we know this person died, and didn't want to accept it. His soul clung to his flesh, even as it fell to rot, a corpse worms devouring the body, and thus we came to be. You must be so unhappy, a thousand souls, all communally dragged out a pointless existence instead of just one. Are you always so calm when you meet those attacking the house? A wave passes through the creature's body. The worms arch and twist. It seems this is how the wriggling man laughs. When we decide that it's time to kill you, we will certainly do it. Whether that happens now, in half an hour, or in ten years, what's the difference? I need the keys to the shrine. The early witch offered me hers in, in return for your head. I want to hear what you have to say. Bold honesty. You're intruding in the dominion of Lady Nerissa and making deals with our enemy, the early witch. What do you expect us to say? Prepare to become food for worms. But we like using opportunities. What about an offer? Kill the early witch, take her key, and you'll get ours. Since you are so eager to rush towards your own death, we won't stop you. I think I'd rather kill you. The wriggling man replies with a hundred voice sigh, full of unconcealed irritation. Do we really have to spend time on this? Well, some new worm food won't hurt. Alright, now we kill this guy. Let's get, um... Icy Prison. We'll try Vine Trap. I don't think it's gonna matter. We'll do... That actually Force Bomb would probably be better here. That's right, he summons a bunch of crap. Alright, but he fell down, so this isn't gonna last long. Alright, Wrigley Man's dead. <laughs> so the first first time I played through this game and I fought him, he was extraordinarily difficult to fight. Dark Master's Robe. I think we've had one of these before, right? Yeah, plus 8 enhancement bonus to intelligence and charisma, plus 5 bonus on all concentration checks, and a plus 10 competence bonus to knowledge arcana skill checks. Both physical form plus 6. Dexterity and Constitution, Natural Armor plus 5, Ring of Protection, 
All right, one of the keys that we need. So, any brilliant ideas? This is not the way it works. You can count on me. All right, let's deactivate this, I guess. We'll, uh, <laughs> the laundry domain doesn't want to open up this chest. I just deactivated you. Uh, no, I'm embarrassed. But the first time I fought him, it did not go that well. Uh, force bomb, very, very effective. You can count on me. All right, so I'm gonna keep re-rolling this oh. until the end of time. For some reason the le the range ledger domain doesn't seem to want to activate it at all. He keeps going and standing beside it and running off. We'll try it again though. You can count on me. Yeah, he's not even trying to open it. Oh, there we go. Even of mighty fist plus five. What are you currently? All right, she does have the dark master's robe already. So you might need Guess not. Let's we'll see plus eight plus eight. There we go. So I need... There you go. Alright, let's see what's behind this door. Well, hold on, let's explore over here first. Yeah. I think this area fills up with enemies in the other... other dimension, so if we get to the fog... Should be a bunch of enemies in that area. Even the natural armor plus five, is that really... Oh, it's back here, at least in this dimension. Did I miss any other doors? No, I think it's just that one. Alright, well, that's one of the major enemies in the house at the edge of time I dealt with. Alright, the Mandragora Swarm is somewhere in this next segment. Uh, we'll try and clear out the next room, then we'll probably call it. Yep, here, there it is. Chill out for a second. I'm just gonna cast. I get it. What is going on here? Nope. We're going to hold our positions. Reduce damage from that? That's annoying. We should be okay though. Uh, maybe I can summon. I might not have time. This will hurt! My fury. This is <laughs> oh man. Oh no. Yep. See. Gosh darn it. I hate Mandalorian Swarm so much. AoE spells, so I can do Polar Midnight, I can do Fireball. What's I guess maybe so Wall would do. Does so she have Fire? I don't think she has Fireball. She has Icy Prison Mass. Yes. Oh. Sorry, was lost in thought. 
Let's finish them quick. No, I need to summon creatures before I go in there. Definitely need to summon stuff. What a nasty event. Okay. So what I need to do, for one, is probably get Akbo up front. I'll take care of it. Well, sorry, was lost in thought. All right. Horde welting seem to be more effective than the other spell. So, any brilliant ideas? I'm sorry, you should just be attacking. Not... There we go. Oh no, we're not going to make it. Gosh darn it, man. <sighs> I hate Magic Horror Swarm so much. I don't know what to do about it. I only has a counter to it other than AoE spells. So I think what I need to do is create a bigger buffer. Do this so, one more time. Any brilliant ideas? Yeah, I have another brilliant idea. Sorry, guys. All of you are sacrifices for the greater good. You can count on me. All right. Then what we're gonna do is cast haste. Then we're going to get Akbo up front as well. Let's finish them quick. Nope, didn't want to do that, but that's fine. We'll do, uh... This isn't the only room with Mandragora Swarms, by the way. It, uh... They persist throughout. Oh great, oh great. Somehow they decided to target my main character instead of what was laid out in front of him. Oh, come on, game. Come on. Ah, oh, son of a gun. All right. Son of a gun. are getting rusty. Explosive bomb, I think, is the best against them. Let's go ahead and spawn all of these guys in again. Again, get Akbo up front. Yes. Ready and willing. I hate I hate magic or swarms. I haven't had a lot of luck in either one of the games I'm currently let's play. Things have not been going well. Nope, wrong thing. Horde wilting, please. Oh, my God. 
I, okay, I'm done. I'm done right now. We're gonna, we're gonna deal with this another in the next episode because I'm I don't feel like dealing with it right now. This is hey, Magic Horse Swarms with a passion. You know what? No, hold on. I'm not done yet. Let's uh, let's do it this way. What's the hold up? Gaining the advantage is always smart. Consider it provoked. I will do it the hard way. And immediately lose five strength. Why does it seem like we're being slowed? Yeah, I knew that wasn't going to work. I'm just, um... <sighs> between the Mandragora Swarms and the uh, the Heartbreakers in the other game I'm playing, this has been a rough day. <sighs> Alright, calling it here. Uh, next episode we'll deal with the Mandragora Swarm in some capacity. My skills are so absolute. Using her wall spell would be a good idea. Don't know why I haven't done that yet. Probably use this as well. You can count on me. I'm always ready. The I don't have options. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next episode.